the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus still worth buying in 2021? Hello everybody and welcome back to another video from HSTV and in today's video we are going to be doing our official 6 month review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. You know and I know that I have loved spending time with this tablet over the past 6 months. I've been using it for uni, I've been using it for entertainment, for note taking and so many other things. It's been a great multitasker but now I want to do an official review of what's been going right and what's been going not so right. So if you are excited, stay tuned and let's get on to it. All right, so let's first talk about handling of the tab and my usage on a practical level. So what I'm seeing here that is it too heavy to hold? Is it awkward to hold in your hand? Because the dimensions are significantly different to any other tablet or iPad we've seen in the past. It's more of a kind of portrait shape and it's kind of longer rather than wider. And in terms of a weight perspective as well, I always have the keyboard boot cover on it constantly. I've never taken it off since I put it on. So with that, is it heavy and uncomfortable to hold in my hand? Well, Gladly, I'm here to say that the answer is no. I've never noticed me being kind of uncomfortable with holding the tab. The S Pen is lovely on it. It's a nice kind of A4-ish size. In terms of entertainment, watching films and things, and even video calls, it's absolutely perfect. Like genuinely, I've never felt that it needs to be any bigger or any smaller or that it's kind of weird or strange in any way, shape or form. And in fact, I think that sometimes when we compare the 2020 iPad I think it was a 12.9 or 13.2, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that's too big. And like holding it in my hand if I'm going somewhere or like walking in the hospital or like walking in the lecture rooms or so on, like I think that that would be quite an uncomfortable size for me personally because maybe that's because I have small hands, but the tablet for me is a perfect size for my hands, for me holding it, holding it in landscape, holding it in portrait. I've not had any issues with it and it's been a really nice experience. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is any of the wear and tear aspect over the last six months. So has my keyboard been scratched or affected in any way? Has my S Pen nib needing to be changed? Is my screen not now working as smoothly? Anything like that. I just wanna talk a little bit about that. And the answer to all of that is no. The tablet has been functioning exceptionally well and the keyboard still works exactly as it did on day one. You know, I will admit I'm quite a careful user when it comes to technology, so I've not been, you know, very, very rough with it or anything like that either. But, um, you know, I've not dropped it or anything. So I guess that's kind of a good thing on my side of using it. But even with the S Pen that I use every day and I have to use every day for note taking, like the S Pen nib does not need to be changed. It genuinely is how it was on day one in my opinion. A lot of you have been commenting that your um, nibs have been needing to be changed and so on, but I've personally not had that issue and it's still working really, really well. And that's the same with the screen and the display. It's not got any scratches on it. It's still working as smooth as it was, um, as it was in, the, in my first month of using the tablet and like genuinely when I say that I've been careful with the tab you know there's only so much you can do to be careful with the tab when you're using it every day for long hours so although yes I am a quite a careful user I do use it every day and you know I can't be so protective of it um, I haven't put a screen protector on because I was quite scared that it might tamper with the S Pen function on it and especially because we have that lovely 120 hertz uh, freak, um, late, why did you say freak? latency then what that means is that um, the S Pen is really smooth without a screen protector so I was kind of scared that with a screen protector it would mess that up and obviously with note taking that's not something I wanted so if you guys are using any kind of screen protector that you felt is really nice with the S Pen, please do tell me down below in the comments because that's something that I want to look into. 
Okay, so that's the kind of practical and, um, you know, the physical stuff out of the way. So now I want to talk about the actual power and my usage of the tab over the six months. As in, has it slowed down? Has it glitched on me? Is there any kind of bug problems? Any of that? And the answer to that is no. It has literally not slowed down, uh, how I think anyway. Um, in my opinion, it's really running quite smooth. Um, multitasking is still really on point. You know, I can have video calls, Samsung Notes, and another Samsung Notes open all at the same time while I'm kind of talking and multitasking. And you know, it's not slowed down. It's not crashed on me even once. There have been some apps that kind of crash on me, but I think that's more of a app bug rather than a Android issue. Um, so on that front, the tab has been doing really well. Okay, so now on to what apps I've been using on the tablet. Well, it's pretty much the same as what I was using in my two month review. Um, so Samsung Notes being my main usage on the tab, that's something I use almost every day for most of my tasks. Zoom and Teams because of coronavirus has been um, a big thing on the tablet as well. And video calls have been super smooth um, up until now at least. Uh, other apps are Anki, I, I've been making loads of flashcards on Anki. I've got many decks now. Maybe I can do a little Anki update for you guys as well. That's been really useful doing that kind of revision based stuff on the tab. And on the topic of revision, the anatomy app that I used, Complete Anatomy 21, which by the way, I did a little review on. So please do go check it out. But that has also been an absolute joy to use on the tab. The way you can just kind of navigate through things with the S Pen, zoom up on things. The display is brilliant. The speakers are brilliant. Watching Netflix on the tab is a joy to be honest you know it's just that feeling that you have this great tablet and it's not only for work but it's for like play and entertainment as well it's not only limited um, to what you can do on it so I've had a really good time with the tablet I just also want to specifically talk about note-taking. I know I've done a lot of stuff on note-taking, but um, that is my main usage on the tab. As a medical student, we have a lot of work to get through. So, you know, using Samsung Notes to bring in PowerPoint, make notes, annotations, making mind maps, revision resources, and all that stuff I do on Samsung Notes. And it's been so great because you can sync across your devices. And that was one of the reasons I bought the tablet in the first place and not an iPad, because I have a Samsung phone and I have a Windows PC. So I can sync across all my three devices, um, no matter you know where I am, what I'm doing, I can have access to my things um, on any of my devices. And I'm actually yet to try the feature where you can sync with OneNote, because that's something I definitely want to try out, because I didn't really like OneNote. Um, I tried it for a while in the beginning, but it wasn't for me. Samsung Notes was definitely the thing that ticked all the boxes for me. But I do want to sync to OneNote and see how that is because then that would mean it doesn't matter if you're on an Apple device as well you can still access it. Okay so um, Samsung DeX very exciting it was very new well it is still quite new but the thing is I've not actually tried it out yet um, so what you need is a little C cable to HDMI converter and that's something that I need to get my hands on so I can do a Samsung DeX video for you guys um, but it's not something I've really tried I have put the tablet into DeX mode um, so I can kind of use it as more of a PC style um, interface um, I do that sometimes when I'm multitasking and I can have different tabs open and it kind of makes it more more of like a laptop like experience but to be honest mostly I'm in tablet mode and I've not really um, gotten the most out of the Samsung DeX capabilities just yet but um, do bear with me I'm trying to get my hands on a C cable to HDMI converter so I can get that kind of video out for you guys but um, I think I did a video just a few weeks ago where I made the tablet into a second monitor and that's something you can easily do with just the charging cable that you plug into your PC or laptop um, so I will leave a link to that video up there as well so you guys can go check out how the tablet is really good at multitasking with us uh, being a second monitor. Okay, so now to try and conclude the video, let's answer the actual question of should you buy the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Plus in 2021? My answer to that would be yes, it is still very worth it, regardless of whether the Tab S8 comes out later this year or not. 
I probably won't be upgrading to it um, unless I think that there's something major that they've changed. The Tab A7 Plus is a real game changer in the field of tablets and iPads, um, if you want to say. Um, it is really is, in terms of the Android market at least, it's the best and it's really an underdog. I've not seen anyone else use it. I've not seen anyone else use Samsung Notes even. I don't know why people don't get the capability that these tablets have. Um, the hype always seems to be around iPads and I hope that through my channel I can show you guys that you don't need an iPad to take brilliant notes, you don't need an iPad to do amazing zoom calls, you can have the Tab S7 Plus which in its own right is actually quite expensive, it's not even that cheap. Um, in fact it's very expensive and for students I know it's an expensive buy but I really do recommend that you do go check it out. This is not sponsored, um, I'm truly saying this from my experience that I've had a blast with the tab and there's nothing that I would change about it. I, there's no improvements that I have in mind that could be done with the tablet. The performance, the display, the work element, the play element, you know, the note taking, the app usage, everything has been brilliant. So I really do recommend that you at least go check it out and um, do go watch my Tab A7 Plus series as well. Um, I've done many videos with the Tab and I hope that the six month review further emphasizes to you that I still love the Tab, I still use it on a day to day basis and I don't feel there's anything that could be improved. All right guys, I hope you have enjoyed this little update on the Tab S7 Plus and if you have any video suggestions for me that could be medicine related or tech related or Tab S7 related, please do leave them down in the comments and I'll make sure to note them down and reply to you guys as well. And loads of exciting videos coming soon as always, so stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time.